Hey guys, welcome to Rhino Feed. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Ducky Zero, a ultra simplistic mechanical keyboard. This one in particular has Cherry MX Blacks, which actually was an accident as I meant to pick up some Cherry MX Reds and I opened up the box initially, but I didn't buy it at first. So when I came back to the store to buy it, I just picked up the box and didn't even pay attention to the fact that maybe, quite possibly, they would have different switch types. Stupid me, but that's okay. MX Blacks are pretty good too and I'm gonna give them a test run. So, you'll have the features here. You have a lockable Windows key for gaming, adjustable volume controls on the top right side, Cherry MX key switches, they don't tell you which ones, but they're blacks, and a dual layer PCB, which is pretty nifty. Because it's not, I don't think it's plate mounted, I think it's right on the PCB this time. And then you have laser printed keycaps and end key rollover support over USB, which in my mind, I don't think that's possible. Only over PS2, I thought. But it'll be minimum six key and end key rollover if I've done my research correctly, which should be quite enough for your average daily use. You have your sticker here, which I really like. Well, it's not a sticker, it's just a card. I really like this. I love their logo. And let's get a close up. Let's see if you can read this. So you got your dimensions and weight, input currents and voltages, as well as the interface, which is obviously USB. Why wouldn't it be? And then the couple features. So that's how you, oh, that's how you enable the, okay, so over USB, it's six key rollover or N key rollover, okay. Hmm, maybe they were able to somehow get around those technical difficulties. But you press FN F12 to enable that. Let's take off this plastic shield here. And you'll find the simplistic keyboard in all its glory. First, we also have some pretty cool replacement keys, which are not perfectly red. They are sort of a pink. I gotta say it. But yeah, pink. And then they also give you a black key puller with two, two prongs. I don't know why you would want that. And then a little divot here, which I think is just from the factory mold. All right. And then the keyboard itself, which is difficult to get out. Ugh. I love the weightiness of mechanical boards. It just feels solid. This thing will probably never break, no matter how much you bash on it in your anger and rage. But I'm gonna do a sound test of this as well. And is it plate mounted? I don't know. I think it isn't. Maybe it is. I don't know, it looks like my Leopold, which I thought was plate mounted, so I think this is plate mounted. And then it just has a reinforced PCB. So there you go. It's got a just simple, straight up rubber, no gold plating or anything on the cable, no USB ports or anything. Again, straight up simple, and I like it. You have your Windows key lock up here, and then your N key rollover here. Dedicated calculator button, that's pretty fantastic. And then your volume and mute, and check this out. Ducky logo instead of the Windows key. That I like. I like that a lot. And then you also have on the space bar on the side here, zero. Sweet. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. And please comment, rate, and subscribe.